All right, we're joining a touch late because I'm a moron, uh, but this is Turd's Midas Triad Wars 15 quarterfinals. Uh, I know that Turd's predicted that 971A could be a card he would see, and specifically you can see multiple cards in his hand are designed to uh, be able to fight against it. A lot of elements. Frog has pluses in 4 and 5, so we should note Frog is a capture in 4 here. Midas has also used a higher level card, which is a pretty rare way to start from what we've seen. Uh, Turds also has a capture in 8, but that is comboed back from 9. And I have to assume that if Frog goes in 4... Interestingly, Shiva in 1 does not capture that. Is 4 safe? Is there a setup against 4? I think... Four is just safe. Okay, so Midas captures back in eight. But four is a funny card to be safe. When something like that, you notice that safe, you start thinking, are there possibilities here? And the answer is probably no. Um, after Midas goes eight, Turds doesn't really have nine. There's not safety there because of the element. Okay. Still, Frog landing that well in 4. That's a nice square. So maybe you want to set up a threat in 8 so that Frog can hopefully land in 4 later. Is there a way to set up an 8? There is. 2, 3, 2, or sorry, a 9. 2, 3, 2, 6, oh, set up 8 from 9. 2, 3, 2, 6, and 9 sets up 1, 4, 5, 2. Importantly, it doesn't really set up, you know, 3, 1, 3, 5 to hit any harder. 971A will always be good in 8, but bad in 4 and 6. 2326 in 9 seems quite appealing to me. Quite appealing. And the other thing is, Midas has set up his hand, so he uses a high level early, but he captures back with his low levels. And so if you start asking him to use cards from his hand, it's hard for him to use the low levels, right? If 5232 two comes out of his hand, he doesn't have 4. If 3135 comes out of his hand, he does have 8, but it's a little sketchier. So I'm very skeptical of this kind of starter with low level cards. Okay, Turds goes in 6, which I think can also make a lot of sense. Right? Where is Midas thinking of blocking? Hmm, I guess Midas could go 4 here. But this does importantly set it up. If Midas goes 4 and Turds plays 8, Turds has set up a combo for himself in 5 with 7636. Six. But he has no recapture of Yuna from 9. Does that matter? It might not matter. Yeah, because it's probably never being flipped from 5. All right, this seems a reasonable idea. I liked the look of 9, but uh, I think this is not so dissimilar. Um, I'm going to respond to some messages because I got some and then I panicked when I got here because the game was going. So let's take a peek. Uh, we should talk a little about hands, though. Uh, Turds went with a 10-9, no, 10-10-5-1-1, which is what I went with. Um, I think the downside of A9-6s is sometimes they're not sufficient sweepers, but they are, of course, very powerful. Midas went with a 10 an 8, a 7, so that adds up to 25, and two ones. So Midas, rather than 10, 10, 5, went 10, 8, 7 at the high end. Willing to drop off the low end, but trying to make three powerful cards instead of two. But he used one as the starter. This is not how I play these rule sets. This doesn't mean it's wrong. But I think... I think this should be the kind of position that's a little more comfortable for turds. And I think this is a first turn favorite rule set, but I think... All right, 
Okay, we've replied to messages, we're back. Um, so I think one thing really interesting to do is, and I didn't want to talk about this too much while I was playing it, my games <laughs> in case it didn't work out, but <clears throat> I have talked about it with Turds, so I think it is very relevant to mention here. I think it's a set where you should go something like 10 10 5 1 1, and your goal is to have your 10s be sweepers. Because if your 10s control their 10s, you are very likely to be able to sweep those endgames. So looking at Midas's level 10, right, <clears throat> and his weaker cards, how strong does one does Nuge seem? 1-8-A-8. This is the card I would be thinking of subbing in here. It specifically can play off Arania's 1, and it beats Arania in all four directions. Sometimes it needs the right configuration, right? The A to beat the 9 can't land on an element. The 8 to beat the 7 can't land on an element. The 1 to beat the 1 has to touch walls. The 8 to beat the A has to touch walls. But if the board's filling up, it's very easy for that to just sweep Arania, right? And that's the kind of thing I would be looking for on this rule set, is cards that sweep their cards. And I think that card has a very good chance to. Um, and that's the card you want to sweep, because that's the card Midas is going to hold on to. So Midas has gone 4, which I thought was kind of the standard idea. Turds is so good in 4, and Midas is, you know, and not as good in 8. So T Midas can force the action in 8. Now, if Yuna in 8, what's the plan? You can combo in 9. But if you do combo in 9, 7, 6, 3, 6 combos back in 5. And Turds is a threat to just go in 9 himself when Yuna is safe. And there's not a way I see at least to set up in 2 to cover Yuna. So Yuna in 8 seems the standard move here, right? This is the move we have to consider. You grab you grab the hidden card. There's other moves to consider. You know, a frog in 1 is safe. Um, Yuna in 9 is safe. Yuna in 3 is safe. I think you want to keep hold of Yuna more than frog, though. Um, there's probably other things to do that don't involve using a high-level card, but I do think this is a time when Midas has used a high-level card, and you can grab something, and grab something in an effective way. Now note 7636 landing in 5 is potentially comboed by 4875, but if we're playing in the top row, Arania might end up being a little bit dead, or at least unable to take enough cards that it isn't pretty comfortably a tie. Also, one thing about Yuna landing in 8 is if 3135 goes in 9, the combo back in 5 actually flips 9 through 8, unless this card is dual elemental, which it might be. So let's open image in new tab, flip over to that, because this looks like one of those cards that might be ice on one side, fire on the other. Nope. It's uh, ice on both sides. So I, I, think, I think Yuna in 8 should be the critical move. And due to having used a high level early, Midas might be a little unhappy to still have 3135 in hand. I, I suspect it's still in tie range, but uh but you know. That would be my instinct. I think frog in one also makes some sense. You just grab the safety. But I think at that point, what I want to do is I want to play a move where Midas cannot use 3135. Right? If I play in one, Midas has time to put like 3135 and 8, right? And he he gets down to his high level cards. I want him to be punished if I'm playing from Turds' perspective, and of course I'm I'm biased here. I want it to be difficult for him because he used a high level early and has kept a lower level for late. So I would be looking for moves, even if they use higher level cards from mine, because I can have two cards left at the end. You know, I'm guaranteed to have at least my level five for my last two move for my last move, um, and I may be able to finagle better. Because uh, right, if like seven six three six lands in five, then I've kept frog for my last turn. 
Now, Arania controls Frog in 2 and 3, so it's quite possible there aren't wins there, but this looks promising to me. Did I miss some combo that's obvious? I don't think so. Yeah, I, I think I think eight is really appealing, and Frog is quite good on the top row for later. You know, if eight is met by say one, because there is safety in one, you you probably block nine. Maybe you have better. But you have freedom to block 9 kind of however you want, so you can get whichever card out of your hand you want. Then they go 5, you go Frog in 2, they keep Arania, they get the capture at the end on Frog due to the element. I guess it's just a tie. But uh, you might have better after they go 1. You don't have to go 9 immediately. They probably should. So that's probably a tie. This probably holds. Um, but I, I think you get to like put some pressure on them. Right. And Turds has picked up Yuna. You get to say, hey, you have to find something a bit precise here. And yeah, you got a little pressure on second turn. I think second turn's a disadvantage. As I said, I thought nine looked a little stronger than six, but uh, this is clearly played out nicely. I like Midas' move in four. I, I think that was a pretty intuitive thing to do. Four was such a good square for Turds. Being, and, and Midas also needed to find a way to get the low levels out of his hand doing something useful. Um, so I don't like the starter, but I don't mind the move in four. Um, the move in six is not what I would do. In general, um, I tend to look, and there's some, I tend to look to moves in six if I want to make the game kind of side-to-side -side oriented, and maybe Turds does. Maybe that's just correct, with the A's facing both ways, and one of them unopposed. Maybe there's just a very good case for it. So unit does land an eight, which, yeah, I thought was the logical move here. My guess for me to note the score is 6 4. So the line I was looking at was Shiva 1, uh, Bug and 9. Um, oh, you're up 6 4. Oh, maybe you just win there. Yeah, I was thinking um, Goofus in 5, Frog in 2, and Arania captures back, but you're just up 6 4 at the end. This could be a win. Um, I feel like it shouldn't be. Let's look at Arania and 9. And then 7, 6, 3, 6, and 5 puts turds up 7, 3. But 3, 1, 3, 5, and 3, and Shiva. That actually might win. Does that win? Arania, 9. 7, 6, 3, 6. You might not be able to play 5. Seven six three six five three one three five three, you are down six four, but Shiva's incredible there. One four five two has no captures. Shiva because it has the plus wall in two flips five and four if it goes in two. You can't play frog in one because Shiva pluses that. If Midas goes Arania in nine, Turds has to be very careful here. Oh, I totally missed this. So that would make it 6-4 Midas. I mean, if he plays it, we'll, we'll look there. It's um, I have trouble calculating a distance with Elemental. But actually, this is... Um, you, can't, you can't go 5. Shiva sweeps you. So maybe you go one. With what? Seven six three six maybe in one. Saying I'm I'm giving up on on five. With six four, if you go five, I can play um five a nine four and two and I tie. If you go two, you don't take anything. I can go five and I'm okay. And if you go 
three. Um, and you keep three one three five, then I can go five with frog. And if you keep Shiva, I can go two with frog. And I think that holds. But okay, this is actually scarier than it looks like. I think Arania and nine would be a really good move here. And I think Shiva is a weirdly dominant sweeper in the resulting positions. I thought this was free pressure for turds. Now I think it is more mixed. I'm curious if Mita saw this before playing two. Because to me, instinctively, eight looked very dangerous, and I probably wouldn't have kept calculating. I probably would have backed off. I, I think two, I think, sorry, four, uh, four versus eight. I, I think I probably would have assumed this wasn't safe, but it turns out maybe it's not just safe, but the opponent who has to be careful. Right? When someone goes 9 and you have the combo and 5, and they, you know, their best combo back is 2, but 2 is obviously garbage. Like, it doesn't seem that scary. But 3 just wins there. What an interesting turn of events. Um, random thing to note that almost certainly doesn't matter. Arania and 9 does combo through 6, which if 7636 six lands in 5 before 9 is occupied, which I think it almost never would, um, that means Arania and 9 would combo 6, would combo 5, would combo 4. Uh, never really relevant, but worth, worth spotting the elemental stuff. This is a very strange line, though. The Arania 9, 7, 6, 3, 6, 5, 3, 1, 3, 5, 3. Midas has 3, 6, and 9, but Shiva just wins. It's possible I haven't checked something against Arania, maybe like three works or something, but I think I think you want to block one. I think we've now seen that Shiva in one and two is too good. Um, so I think Arania nine is met by seven six three six one. I'm not sure. I would also note 3135 does have a combo in 5, it just doesn't combo the actually important card to combo, but worth mentioning. Weird position. I did not foresee this being this dangerous. But you know what card wouldn't be swept by Shiva? Nuge. <laughs> I really believe in the 8A8s on this set. I think they're really good. I think basically the problem with 8A8s is they struggle against 9s. In this rule set, it's just hard to have that many 9s. And also the ones in Midas's hand aren't well aligned for this anyway. So... Arania 9. Not even looking at other stuff, I just I think it's so cool when moves like that work out when you just get the sweeper at the end and playing to the sweeper. I think Midas doesn't see it. No, Midas plays it. And now Turds has to be very careful. I thought if time got that low, he probably doesn't have it. But now the pressure switches. Um, one good thing about Turds is he does not fast play in spots like this. So he's gonna realize five doesn't work. Then he's going to have some panic. He may have already realized. We don't know, right? There's a good chance this is what he was looking at. Um, but if he hadn't realized before, he's going to realize now that 5 doesn't work. And that he has to find something else. So my thought was going 1 with 7636. If 3, 1, 3, 5, and 5, uh, you play frog in 2 and you tie, you're currently down 6, 4. So you just need the 1 capture to tie. If they play Shiva in 5, you can also play Frog in 2. Uh, there might be better moves in these spots or alternatives, but I'm just finding at least a tie in every variation. And Frog in 2 ties. If they go 3, 1, 3, 5, and 5, that's a kind of weird move. And uh, Frog, as long as Frog captures 4, which it does, will get you the tie. Um, also, it is the plus 1 and 5. Ooh, I forgot. Frog is a plus 1 and 5. We will come back to that, because Frog in 5 might be good here. 
Um, but we're going to finish checking the move I was looking at, because I think we'll have time. Turds won't play quick here. Um, if Shiva into, again, you go five, if nothing else, and you tie. Um, and in three, if Shiva in three, you have frog in five. And if three, one, three, five in three, I thought you had to play frog in two there, but the elements actually work out such that you can play a frog in five again, and you win. But there is frog in five immediately. Frog in five flips three cards, and so it puts you up seven three. That might work, because the same line three one three five and three, you can now play seven six three six and one. And Shiva, due to getting the minus one, and Frog getting the plus one, doesn't have flips. So does Frog in five win? That's the question now. Totally missed this, forgot about Elemental. As I've often said, I am not, um, I struggle with Elemental. I find it very difficult to calculate properly. But Frog in five, let's just go through the moves. Shiva in one, we block three with anything and we win. Three, one, three, five, and one. We block two with seven, six, three, six, and we win. Shiva in two does not flip anything. We play three and we win. Three, one, three, five, and two does not flip anything. We play and say one and we win. We're up seven, three. So that making it six, four is no problem. Uh, three, one, three, five, and three. We play seven, six, three, six, and one, and we win. Right? Five plus six is eleven. Seven plus five is twelve. Seven, uh, eight plus five is thirteen, and the wall is fourteen. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's no pluses there. You only, you don't even flip five. Uh, you lose six, four, um, and four, eight, seven, five, and three is met by two. I think frog and five wins, and I. I think I've been behind every step of the calculation this game, right? I thought unit in eight was good, and I thought Midas should probably go in one or something or three um, until I saw nine, which I was late to see. And then I realized nine didn't work against five, uh, or did work against five with seven, six, three, six, and five, but I forgot there's the element in five giving frog five as well. And I think that just ends the game. And if Turds finds it, which he's picked it up, he is in the semifinals. And I, I assume he's found it. Because if you were going to play one, I think you'd put 7636 six, six there. So I think he must have found it. And uh, yeah, what a curious line. So the reason Midas ran down his time is probably he saw further than me. He saw the appealing reason to go nine, but he saw a problem with it too and he was trying to find something else. I think there's a chance one or three worked, but this did look very dangerous. Uh, which probably means four is a worse move than I thought, but it's a difficult position. I, I think just after the starter, it's tough. It's a very tough position. Um, all right, Turds has not played yet. This is not a, you know, savoring the moment situation. This is a, he just really wants to check everything. Uh, I like games like this where my evaluation flips constantly, but I don't like calculating with elemental. So, you know, it has pluses and minuses. But interesting. Frog landing in four and five. I thought four was going to be the crit critical square for Frog to land. I completely missed that five could be. Yeah, he takes the plus one, and that should be game. Ah, well done to Turds. Taking it, he's the, um... No, Clippy also, I think, won on second turn. Did I actually keep the record of that? I'm not sure I did. Should have popped that open. No, I should put the record of this in now. No, I did not. I think they used the same hands I should that they used in the first game. I should check. Um, the Midas turds. The Midas hand was going highest level first. 971A, 9834, 4875, um, 5232, 3135. Versus 964A, 5A, 94, 7636, 1452, 2, And yeah, it's over. So almost certainly Midas played um, 3, 1, 3, 5, and 3. 
and Turrets could then play one and gets the win due to that plus one. Nice calculation. Uh, well played by Turrets. Congratulations.